That's acquired. We are on part two of the Central Park vlog. windy. So today I have come up at 82nd Street I think. So this is outside the um, American History Museum basically. His American History. His his um, it's a museum. So I am going to head across the road and into the park. I came up here because this should take me pretty much directly into the little wooded area that I tend to go where all the squirrels and the birdies are so I can get straight to feeding. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I needed to get out of the house basically. Um, and today it is Tuesday, so it is peaceful. Oh God, I love it. All the birds are out. It's wonderful. And now I'm just walking on a small little trail that I take. It takes me ah, just to that bridge. It's very cute. <laughs> so off we go. Are you super fluffy? What's going on with your tail? You super fluffy little baby. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, look at you. Oh, look, guys, a mossy trunk. <laughs> and some nice fungi. So, this is always a sort of fairly popular spot because of the view, uh, views, I should say. But the view out onto the city, it's, it's always weird to me. It's like you can see the city everywhere, right? Whenever you're in the city, you can see it. And when you're out in the city, you can see it. And people come to Central Park to take photos from the park of the city. <laughs> just, and just like, just turn around, guys. Just take these photos. <laughs> you can see the city from anywhere. Why would you come to Central Park to take photos of the city? Apologies that I am slightly wonky, <laughs> but this is like my favorite place to come. Um, it's on like a sort of hill that not everyone thinks you can walk on. You can. <laughs> um, but it's got all these awesome trees. If I move my butt out of the way, you'll be able to see slightly better. Um, and I just like to come here and sit and chill because <laughs> I was going to say it's comfy, but <laughs> it is comfy. I think it's wonderful. You can prop yourself right here and just. <sighs> it's so nice. And so few people know where you are. So I like to come here and just chill with this one particular tree because it's like half clinging onto the side of the cliff. <sighs> and I feel like that sometimes. <laughs> I understand. So I am a uh, big advocate for more green spaces, especially in cities, because I think it's incredibly important to everyone. Um, <laughs> Very few people I've ever met in my life are like, I actually want less park space. Uh, less park space, apart from obviously billionaires who are like, ooh, that would be a great place for a condo and me to make lots of money. But other than them, most people like having a park space, even if they only visit it a couple times in summer, just for somewhere to sit, chill, you know, meet their friends, meet their family, whatever. Most people are impartial to it, if not, in favour of it. So I don't understand why places like Central Park and um, like the Brooklyn Botanical Garden are so few and far between. And like also like constantly coming up against issues and being fought against. Like I just, now, sorry, it's a bit chilly so my nose runs. Um, I, <laughs> I am aware that um, Central Park came into being by displacing a whole bunch of people. Uh, mostly people of colour, obviously, in the black community, obviously, because <sighs> we just can't leave them alone. Um, so that's not great. I'm not for that. 
but I am for increasing green spaces. It's just something that I care about and I think really the majority of people care about and I wish that we could just find a way to bring back what was already here to begin with. Um, I think it's a real shame and I hope that we see a change in this, um, not just for ourselves and our mental health, but also for nature and also for the planet. Because, you know, ecosystems, biodiversity, it's very important. Anyway, that's the end of my TED talk. Enjoy the trees. Look at all these trees and all this moss. <laughs> so this is basically where I was chilling just now. Just, oh, that's my sleeve, sorry guys. Just in this little nook. Just chilling, nice mossy tree friend. Thank you for creating some kind of calm environment for me. I appreciate it greatly. reasons um, this is just so tranquil like as long as there aren't people walking on the path it's a really relaxing spot the water is always so clean and clear um, <laughs> I'm being stared at by two rogue little dogs hi <laughs> um, yeah it's a really relaxing spot and this is right by where I feed the squirrels and the birds Brook has always seemed like the most magical of places to me. I don't know why, it just <sighs> cleanses my soul. I'm out of breath, I just uh, reunited the dog with her mum. <laughs> the dog was just like here, and mum was over there, but there was a fence there, it was all very confusing, so I poor dog started going off in the wrong direction so I grabbed the lead and just sprinted back with the dog as if I'm in you know sprinting a tyre but it's fine because Bella was reunited with her mum and that's all that matters <laughs> this is the closest I've ever been hi oh my goodness you're so pretty oh oh hi Okay. Got some first takers. And yes, I eat them myself. Trail mix is trail mix. <laughs> this little guy just like standing bolt upright to eat his nuts. I do not get that. Sure. Hey. Oh, back for more? Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. I've also not eaten. They've probably eaten more than me. Don't even, you know, don't think for a minute that we weren't coming here feeding them. This little guy. He's getting a bit um, more confident. I never remember exactly what they eat, so I tried to, um, there's like a thousand down there. Just pick one. <laughs> oh my goodness. I tried to just, um, get a mix so that you know birds find it rats find it whatever everyone can eat it there we go did you find one okay right you got an almond and i have this right here this is this is the juicy one this is what you want forget all that almond rubbish oh yeah there we go mm. that's the jackpot that is everyone likes that one the most <laughs> oh my god look. they're so cute i love watching them there he is Hi! 
what you want. Huh? We've got loads here. Almonds, cranberries. Mm. Mm -hmm. He says, yeah, I'll take one of those. cranberries in it. The birds will love that. Fancy cranberries. Probably hike the price right up. All right, rude. May I help you with something? This guy. He knows what it's about. I've completely forgot what I said. Interrupting me. It's so rude. So rude. Yeah, you gotta stand your ground with these guys because they will just walk all over you. Hi! Oh, bye! <laughs> so I've just looked back at the footage to be like, oh, the Blue Jay, and realised that I look atrocious. Um, yes, I am tired. My bed has broken. Not through any nefarious means. It's just so cheap that it couldn't even do its one job which is be a bed and support my body. So yes, I'm tired. I tried to put glitter over my eye bags to make them look cute, but I'm not fooling anyone. Um, I'm very tired, very fatigued, very sore. I am pretty much at the end of this bag. Um, my hand is frozen from holding this. There's a gaggle of kids. Um, and most of the animals have gone because it's got a bit loud here. So I can see some snowdrops over there. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna clear out this bag and go in that direction to see if I can find more snowdrops. Um, and maybe, hi, on my travels, I'll find a hot coffee for my hand. For all you tourists, this is Bow Bridge in case you can't see the sign. Um, very famous spot in the park. You know, it's nice. In summer, it looks really, really beautiful. Um, Again, some nice little features and architecture on there. Um, oh, these plant pots look absolutely gorgeous when it comes to summer. They have so many flowers in them, but um, it is quite nice. I, for some reason, I really love the floor. I love the noise it makes. Um, but you know, again, it's quite a nice view of the city, which, you know, people love when they're in the park <laughs> but yes usually a hot spot uh, currently I am the only person on the bridge so pick your times know when to come so last year was my first spring here um, and it was magical completely and utterly magic I it was incredible um, just the blossoms everywhere the cherry blossoms the apple blossoms um, a bunch of magnolia trees so again here you can see <laughs> all the little buds and they're so soft they're so soft and these are getting really big and they are going to become huge beautiful magnolias and i took photos of them last year and they were so nice and so pretty the colors were amazing um, and this year I'm really excited to bring you via the YouTube video um, and we can film it together. It's beyond anything I could dream of. It's so beautiful. So I'm excited for that. Okay. 
gonna record a really quick outro um, because my phone is full apparently sitting here at the cafe with a nice coffee um, I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog and I hope that you enjoyed experiencing more of Central Park reading with the little animals um, if you like this kind of stuff and you want to see more of it on my channel then let me know you know leave comments um, dare I say subscribe if you would like to um, and check out the link in my bio because that has loads of different ways that you can support me um, and until next time I hope that you all keep as safe as you can in these times